So it's December, and I'm getting ready to cover the Aquavictus for another four months. It will be under a tarp. I've got the rope strung. And it's this time of the year, here in the Northeast, that we start thinking about ice. And one thing I think of when I think about ice is my ring of ice on the Westfield River, on the border of West Springfield and Westfield. People also think about it. They always ask me about it. They say, when is that ring of ice going to form? So let's talk about the ring of ice. And I'll show you some videos of past year's rings. This is the ring of ice really going today in action. You can see how big this thing is. It's all pack ice, really. It's broken ice, little crystals. And this ring takes up the entire cove here in the middle of the Westfield River. You can see it moving with the current. It really is awesome to see it when it's this big. I mean, sometimes you'll see it small, just a little ring, but this is a big ring. This is one of the biggest rings I've ever seen in this location. And you can see that it has to be the result of some kind of a little whirlpool or, or some current in the middle of the river, and it's making a perfect if ring of ice. you know where this ring of ice is located, you gotta go to West Springfield, Massachusetts, which is at the intersection of Route 90 West, which is the Mass Pike, and Route 91 North South. You then get on Route 20 West and head toward Westfield. Just as you get to the entering Westfield sign, just before that, there's a local eatery called Little George's. Excellent breakfast and lunch. You might want to stop, make a, make a morning out of it. So go on into Little George's, get something to eat, and then go across the street carefully. It's Route 20. And right behind the Golden Nozzle Car Wash, there's a pool where the Westfield River plunging down from the Berkshires enters into the pool. And because of deposition, a slow eddy or whirlpool brings the river current from the south side of the river to the north side. Big slow eddy. And it's this big slow eddy that creates the ring of ice which I discovered, I mean other people probably have seen it too, back in the early 1980s, and it forms every winter. You go a cold winter morning, you probably find it. People drive by it every day on Route 20 here, and I don't know how many of them ever look down and see it. I think it's fascinating. Perfect ring of ice. Or should I say a disc? Thing's got to be 200 feet across. You can see it moving with the current. And as I say, I've been enjoying the ring of ice for. 35, 40 years now, and it's not there every day, obviously. It's formed by, you know, frigid weather and the right river conditions, but it's there at least once a winter, and it'll last for sometimes days, even I've seen it last up to a week. Here's drone footage I took of it a few years ago, when the rain got so large that it froze in. Typically, it spends like a giant saw blade. But here you can see the ring has frozen solid. And Route 20 on the left with the cars going by shows you how big this ring actually is. Now it's funny because West Springfield is West Springfield and not the biggest city in the area nor the city with the most press. And it's never really gotten a lot of attention. I post pictures of it and video of it every year on 
Instagram and so Facebook. So here I am at the car wash across from Little George's restaurant, and it is mid-December, and below me is the pool that our ring of ice will form at. Last night, we had temperatures that went down into the 20s. It's going to take a few days of temperatures in the 20s before we start seeing this river freeze up. And the thing is, what we're going to see is the current line that you see on the other side of the river moves along. And then if you were to go out in a canoe here, you'd see that the river all of a sudden gets shallow in here where, where you know, substances are being deposited by the current of the river. And that causes a really slow eddy, a slow whirlpool to form up here between that current and the shoreline. And that eddy is what creates that ring of ice. You'll see there's something floating right out there in the middle right now, and that is about the center of the eddy. And when this thing forms, you'll see a disk of ice, maybe as big as a quarter, start to spin, and it will slowly get larger, depending on how cold it is. Sometimes it gets big pretty quick. The ring of ice is hard to call. It's all about the river level being you know appropriate level it can't be too high can't we can't have had any floods and uh, sometimes a little bit of snow will help it along the way it can't get too cold and stay cold either so if that happens the river's ring of ice will freeze solid 